Good day everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Feature Rice Kitchen! favorite pasta dishes. What is that? Bacon carbonara. Alright, that's bacon carbonara for our third month series in YouTube. That is right. Kaya dapat palaging special. Nag-iisip tuloy ako palagi ng special recipe pagka month series ko sa YouTube. But this one is so dear to me. So, let us start with the ingredients. Very simple. We will be needing 300 grams of spaghetti noodles or actually, pag carbonara, ginagamit yan, fettuccine, but it's your choice. Okay, I'm using spaghetti now, 300 grams, and then I have here 250 grams of bacon, chopped, and I have here one small can of button mushrooms, sliced. I have here also one half cup of grated cheese, uh, cheddar cheese is fine, and then I have here one cup of fresh milk, one cup of all-purpose cream or cooking cream. I have also one can of um, cream of mushroom, condensed cream of mushroom. I have uh, one medium-sized onion, finely chopped, and three cloves of garlic, finely chopped as well. And of course, we'll be needing small amount of butter, around one tablespoon for sauteing, and salt and pepper to taste. Also, a small amount of cooking oil, one tablespoon to go with the sauteing process and some um, Italian seasonings later as we go through our cooking. Alright, first things first, we go to the boiling of the pasta. I'm already boiling here our spaghetti noodles for the carbonara, that's 300 grams. So we boil it until it's al dente. And then when we're doing that, we're heating the pan here to first um, fry the bacon. Okay, so I'm not adding any fat here because we will render the fat coming from the bacon. Okay, kasi diba, may fats na to. So, we will use the fat from the bacon later para mas malasa siya. Tapos natin konti lang para makaluto tayo. Okay, so we will fry the bacon until it's light brown. Okay, so we are to remove the bacon now because it's light golden brown. We remove it first so that we can saute other ingredients. Okay, so here we place our bacon. And Kasama niya yung rendered fat niya para mamaya malasa. So what we will do now is to saute the other ingredients. So we will add here butter. That's one tablespoon of butter. May konti na siyang bacon fat. Pero nalagyan ko lang siya ng konting-konti lang na canola oil. Okay. Para lang hindi siya mag-burn. Ayan. Oops. So hindi pa malapot ang ating pasta. Habang siya ay nagboboil, mag-saute na tayo. First ingredient to be sauteed, we will add, of course, the onions. Okay? Onions. So we saute the onions until it's translucent for around one minute. Bango. Ang tama ng onion with the butter. Amen. And then, when it's translucent, we will add, we'll, uh, around one minute, we will add the garlic. So, onion and garlic together with butter, they create really good aroma here. Ayan. Ayan. Bako. Favorite ko to, kaya pinili ko tong lutuin sa third month siri ng aking YouTube channel. Ayan. So, next, we will add the mushroom. Diba ganun lang siya kabilis, no? Dagdag lang, dagdag, dagdag. Mabilis lang siyang lutuin. Actually, it's a 30-minute meal. I love this. 
Pwede kayo gumamit ng ibang ingredient. Halimbawa, uh, you don't like bacon. Sino ba naman ang ayaw ng bacon? May mga ayaw ng bacon, lalo na the healthy eaters. So you can actually use tuna. Tuna flakes, no? In vegetable oil. Instead of adding bacon. So, tuna carbonara siya. We saute it for a few minutes and then we will be back. Okay, after two minutes of sauteing the mushroom, we will add the next ingredient and that's our bacon. Oops, magtira tayong konti pang topping later. Masaya yung presentation na may topping na. Yeah. Dahil hindi ako nakakita sa grocery ng parsley for topping, itatop na lang natin siya ng bacon. So here we have the bacon. I'm not yet adding anything yet. Yun pa lang, no? And then the, the pasta has been, uh, has reached its al dente texture. So we drained it already, but I did not add tap water to that. Kasi gusto ko siyang isama later sa ating heated uh, sauce. So I'm adding now one teaspoon of salt. Actually, less than one teaspoon yun. Kasi baka mapaalat. Mas mabilis magdagdag ng alat kesa magbawas. And then, just some pepper. Okay. Pepper, ground pepper, one half teaspoon. And then, sauté. Alam nyo, isa sa mga pasta dishes na very, ano ko, choosy ako pag lumalabas. Carbonara. Kasi nga, favorite ko siya. So, madalas, may mga lasa ng carbonara sa ibang restaurants na hindi, hindi ko type. Gusto ko yung ganitong timpla, the savory flavor of it. Kasi minsan sa iba, matamis, no? So, yan, okay na yan. Dahil luto naman na yung bacon natin, we will add first, eto. This is the cooking cream or the all-purpose cream and this is one cup. Low fire, no? Mas maganda if you have non-stick pan. Non-stick pan para hindi nag-aapo, ano? Nag-iba yung color, no? Ano yun? This is one cup of fresh milk. Pero ayoko ito do. Ito nilagay ko lang three fourth cups lang, three fourth cup lang muna. Kasi ayoko maging malat now, okay? So tandaan three fourth cup yung nilagay ko lang muna, no? And then that one whole can of condensed cream of mushroom. Ito yung nakakain. Yes. Kasi pa masyado maraming milk din, minsan nagsasabaw ng masabaw. Ayaw ko yung malabnaw. Now, if your choice is malabnaw siya, pwede nyo ito doon yung one cup. Dahil sayang pa yung haiwan, mas kasing natin siya. And then, we will let it simmer. Stir it, stir it, and let it simmer. At pag stir, nagsisimmer na siya, babalik tayo. All right, so we're back. Look at that. I want you to look closely, please. Zoom the camera. So it's quite thick. Kanina, three-fourth cups of, three-fourth cup of milk lang. Fresh milk lang nilagay ko. Now, I will add the rest of the one-fourth cup para hindi siya sobrang thick, no? Alam nyo, uh, natapon ko lang yung pasta water. Usually, kapag ka masyadong thick yung sauce, ang ginagamit kong pang thin, pasta water. Because the pasta water, yung pinagpakuluan ng pasta, kasi the pasta water will add to a glossy appearance and a perfect texture of your uh, noodles later. At mas masarap po kasi ipon dun yung nutrients nung, nung pasta na binoil nyo. Mas maganda pasta water instead of just the tap water no, that you will use. Then we will add here the cheese. Yan. Cheese lovers out there. Actually, yung one half cup of grated cheese ko is basic. Ngayon kung ayaw ko, teacher, ay masyadong ma-cheese. Hindi ako masyadong mahilig sa cheese. Pwede mong bawasan. Or, teacher, ay pwede bang dagdagan ko pa? Pwede mo rin naman dagdagan. That's your option. Kasi it depends. Kasi there are people who love cheese, but there are those who don't like it. So, that will vary. Okay, so that's it. At ako, mahilig ako sa cheese. So, ilalahat ko yung one half cup. I love cheese. I'm such a cheesy person. But years. Anyway, so ayan. And then, I love adding seasoning so that, like yung mga dried herbs, no? Yung mga Italian seasoning. Basil. I, I love adding those to this kasi they add an Italian flavor. Ayan. This is Italian seasoning. 
I just enjoy adding those kasi nagbibigay ng ibang wapa. And this is basil. Kaya sa bahay, no, nagsustore ako ng mga iba-ibang sunings sa ganyan kasi ang luluto ako, gusto ko yung mga iba-ibang paandar. Paandar. Kasi yung lasa nagbabago. Wow, grabe naman, teacher. Ay, ang dami-dami namang herbs. Mahilig lang ako sa herbs. Pwede nyo tanggalin. Pwede nyo bawasan. It's fine. So, dinagdag ko, dried oregano, dried basil, and then Italian seasoning. Let's taste it. Let's taste. Wait, as a cheese na yan. Kung na siya malala sa atin. Let's taste. Kasi kanina pa naman to, kung dagdag na lang yun, hindihan natin. Okay. I love it. I love it. Yan. Gusto ko lang dagdagan ng konting pepper. Konting pepper. Ngayon, sa palagay mo, ang lapot naman ng steak, pwede mong dagdagan ng pasta water or ng evaporated, uh, evaporated milk or flesh milk. Okay lang. Gusto ko lang concentrated. So, magswerte ako dahil ang sabi ng aking staff ko, oh, ang lakas mo pasta. Parang ang dami lang, no? May pasta water pa. So, I'll add, this is pasta water, I'll add just a small amount to thin the sauce. Yan. Just to thin the sauce. So, just if it's too thick for you, you can add pasta water instead of, you know, the normal water because it gives your pasta a shiny color appearance and a good texture as well. Kasi, andito pa yung starchy content ng pasta nyo, eh, ng noodles nyo. And at the same time, the flavor and the nutrients are still there. Okay, so let it simmer and then we'll be back to add the noodles. A few minutes later. Let's check, no, the taste. So, nagsimmer na tayo, nagdagdag tayo ng pasta water. Let's taste how it, how it is. But I want it to be done this way. Alam niyo yon yung kasama na, magkasama yung yung sauce at sa kaya yung yung pasta noodles because I want it to absorb well. Miss Teacher, ay bakit ang dami-dami naman yan? Nagmukha naman siyang sabaw. Actually, hindi. Kasi habang nag-a-absorb, no? Yung habang lumalamig, nag-a-absorb pa yung noodles. Nagda-dry. So ito, makikita nyo mamaya, after a few minutes, so akala mo masabaw, hindi naman pala masabaw kasi the noodles will still absorb. And I want it to be really creamy. So that is why, gusto ko, pagka nag-absorb na siya, may sauce ka pang nalalasahan. So, what I will do is just to add some more of my seasonings here. Pandagdag lang ng lasa. Siyempre, kung nilagyan mo na yun ng noodles, mag-iiba na yung ano eh. Yung mag-absorb. So, medyo tahatabang ng konti. At, gusto ko siya lagyan ng parmesan cheese. Diba? Cheesy. Ang cheesy ko lang. Just a small amount. Kasi it adds to a really better flavor. So, so this is a white sauce pasta. Cream-based pasta. Yan, no? Hindi ko pa nga siya tinatanggal. Nag-absorb na siya. Ang totoong carbonara kasi hindi ganito, di ba? Fresh egg. So, this is cream-based modified carbonara. Alright. That's it. And then, we'll switch it up and plate it. Okay, let's do the taste test. We get a small amount for us to taste it. There. And, and then, I just want to add some more of this. And some more Parmesan cheese. So, na ating Parmesan cheese. Ako, na-ref ko na. Pwede na. Marami naman na itong Parmesan cheese. Okay? So here, ang ganda na eh. Nalagay ko na dyan sa ating plated product. Now we will taste. Pasabihin nyo naman, masyado ang cheesy teacher ay. Yan. Sige, sige. 
Mm. Sarap. Really my favorite. The reason why I use this for my episode today. What a nice way to celebrate third month in YouTube channel. Okay? So, again, this is a bacon carbonara. Gusto ko pala ng isa. Give me one more bite of it. Mmm. Hop. Do it for your family. For any occasion, pwede siya. For the lunch, for the dinner, at the snack. Do it for your family. Pwede special occasions. Very easy to prepare. And I know your family will love it. Alright? So, I hope that you like our video for today. And I hope that you will like and share this video to everyone that you know. And if you have not yet subscribed in my YouTube channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos and updates. Once again, this is me, Spackle, for Teacherize Kitchen. I'll see you again in our next videos. Thank you for watching!